Okay, folks, I know it's not four, but it is Friday, and we want to start earlier. And we've had a series of technical challenges trying to get Vimeo to give us all the capability we need to bring you this daily minute. So anyway, we're a little early, but we're here. Uh, let me catch you up on, uh, sorry I missed yesterday, still doing technical challenges yesterday, but we're back at it today. I was going to catch you up on a really neat conversation I had about a cool guy in this industry, maybe a good way to end of the week for folks. And so uh, I got a friend, uh, his name is L. Elbrook, and maybe you guys know him. He used to be one of the owners of Natco back in the day. He's got 60 plus years in the industry. He's 95 years old. And Al tends to send me emails every once in a while or give me a call. Let me know what's going on. And, and Al's a guy who's steeped in industry information. You know, this guy, uh, he wrote a book, uh, The American Machine Tool Industry, History of Growth and Decline. Uh, it's 228 pages. Um, he sends economic information on all kinds of things. Um, in fact, when he called me up, he was going over current economic issues that are going on, things that are happening with kind of the unemployment numbers, um, global policies relative to different manufacturing things that are happening. Um, and also, he's doing his quick check on AMT, checking what's happening with IMTS, talking about all the shows he's been to, which go back like 50 years worth of shows. He hasn't missed one. Okay, the guy's 95 years old, so really impressive guy. And uh, now he started talking to me about uh, what he thinks is going to happen with supply chain moves back and forth because of this, it being a great opportunity for manufacturing in the U.S. And uh, he was kind of hoping for some consolidation of manufacturing associations, feeling, hey, there's way too many. We should really kind of get focused down so we could put our efforts together. And what's really impressive about Al, again, he's 95 years old. First of all, he's not only planning on what he was going to be doing this fall, but he already had his plans in 2021 for IMTS. And so it's forward thinking. That's 97 years old. Here's a guy that just loves this industry, loves the industry, loves what it's all about, wants us to do well, keeps track of information, data. He still calls people up all the time. He travels to local shops to see what's going on. He's kind of a microcosm of the coolness in this industry. People who really love what we're all about in manufacturing technology, what we've done over the years, kind of our old history, but kind of the new transformative technologies. He's an interesting mix. And it's just kind of a really neat for me to kind of see people like that at that age, <clears throat> they're still getting just as excited about what we do. So with that, well, that's a little tidbit that uh, kind of puts a smile on your face, uh, thinking about when you're 97 years old, planning for your next IMTS. And at the end of the day, kind of just being in the game, playing it at 97. So have a great weekend. Hopefully technical challenges will be all past this by next week, and I'll be there regular time, 4 o'clock on Monday. Have a great weekend.